Hello, Jose Libegri here from Dr. Spotfire. Here's a quick tip video on how to provide a confirmation dialogue before executing a script or an action. I have a, a, a button here, an action control, and maybe I want to execute a data function or a script or something like that. So let me show you how, you, how it works. If I click execute, before executing that actual data function, in this case, it's just a placeholder data function that is gonna sleep for a while, I get this confirmation dialog. I click yes, and then the data function ex executes for five seconds, and that's it. Let's do it again. Execute, I say yes, and then executes the data function. Now, if I want to say no, well, not big deal. All right, just close it. Or I can also have the opportunity to say cancel, and that's it. The, the dialogue will go away. So let's go a little bit behind the scenes. Here I'm going to uh, edit the text area. I have my text area here. And what's happening is that I have a placeholder button, this, which is this one. This is the, the execute. But here I have a hidden actual button that executes that data function. I'm going to change these positions to none just to make it visible. And now the actual button that runs the data function is here. So what's happening is that my JavaScript is going to prompt the user. And if you click OK, then it's going to programmatically click on this second button. So if I click the execute button, it run, runs the data function, and that's it. So there's no prompt here in this one. OK. Uh, if I want to change uh, or look behind the scenes this actual execute button, I am executing a data function that sleeps the system just for five seconds. It's just for illustration purposes, but it can be any other data function. Maybe you want to warn the user for an execution that is going to take a while, or maybe you just want to warn the user what's going to happen before executing that data function. I can also execute a JavaScript. Maybe this filter panel, again, is a placeholder. So let's see how that works. If I click that, it just simply shows or hide the filter panel. It's just an example on, instead of executing a data function, it's ex executing an Iron Python script. Let's see how it works. If I click the execute, it's gonna prompt me. If I say yes, then my filter panel is gone. Again, if I do this, I click yes, then I show or execute that JavaScript back. So I'm going to just hide this to um, fixed, and then I am just moving away the button. That this becomes a floating button, and I'm, I'm putting off of the screen. If you want to know more details and you want to get the code out of it, I'm going to put the description of this article in the video description. And here is the, the article. It explains you how it works. Here is the the code that you can just copy paste and replace with your buttons, the JavaScripts, and that's all you need. Thank you and see you next time.